So why does everything always have to smell like roses anyway? Especially in the bathroom. I mean, come on, light a match, turn on a fan, wait a couple minutes, you'll get over it. The word fragrance, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship. While I like things to smell nice, the word fragrance can be a bit dangerous. Fragrance, like under an ingredients label, doesn't really mean anything. It's considered a trade secret, so a company doesn't have to say what they put under that word. And on average, it tends to contain about 14 different chemicals, but it could be plenty more. A common group of chemicals that are used in fragrances are called phthalates with a P. And they're quite harmful to our health. They uh, can mess up our hormones and reproductive organs. They can cause cancer. They can cause asthma, uh, behavioral problems, neurologic problems, autism, ADHD, not things I really want to choose to inhale and put on my body. Have you ever gotten a big waft uh, of perfume or cologne when you're around a person and then got like a bad headache? Well, yeah, it's because it's toxic. So what can you do? Stop using all those air fresheners. Um, stop getting perfumes and colognes and think twice about scented candles. If you, know, if you want a room to smell nice, try diffusing essential oils. Not only are you avoiding chemicals, there's a lot of health benefits to essential oils. And it's very versatile. You can choose whatever you wanna put in here. Um, I made my own body spray the other day. I used a base of magnesium oil, so it has double health benefits and then added some essential oils. Or you can buy or make your own uh, roller bottle using oils and essential oils. And again, they're good for you. So think, think twice about inhaling and putting toxic chemicals on your body. Maybe just appreciate being clean or try these safer options. Give them a try. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.